I'm Sandy Pinalto, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland, and it's truly my pleasure to uh, welcome you and to host our seventh annual Community Development Policy Summit. And it's so great to see a wonderful turnout once again. You know, I've always been impressed with the discussions and the sub subsequent action uh, that takes place uh, at these conferences and have, has done so, we've done so over the, uh, the past six years. They, I think these policy conference uh, summits have really provided an important forum for the community development practitioners and the policymakers to come together, to interact, to work together, to create and evaluate strategies for supporting our communities. And I'm certain that today's summit is not going to be any exception. Our subject today, as you know, is credit, capital, and community building in transitional times. And it's a subject of great interest uh, to all of us in this room, and obviously given the issues and challenges we're facing today. The legislative and regulatory proposals that are now being considered will reshape the next generation of community development policies. So it's really critical, and I've had conversations with many of you in the room this morning, that we clearly understand the issues and that we take smart and informed action as we develop this next generation of policy. And today, it's my privilege to introduce my friend and colleague, Elizabeth Duke, whose perspective on community development issues will definitely help inform us on these very, very important issues. Betsy is a member of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, and her direct experience in commercial and community banking has been extremely invaluable. I can't tell you what a privilege it is to work with an individual, a colleague, who's had so much firsthand knowledge and experience in banking. In her short tenure in the Federal Reserve System, Betsy has already addressed a number of complex and demanding issues around banking supervision. And I can't tell you the number of times I've picked up the phone in the past few months to talk to her about a banking issue because her knowledge and experience has just been extremely helpful. I've learned uh, that there is no substitute for someone who knows firsthand the practical implications of rulemaking or oversight. So Be Betsy has just been a breath of fresh air and an invaluable addition to the Board of Governors. She, her expertise and also her calm, persuasive presence have contributed tremendously to the challenges and issues in the work of the Fed over the past several months. Now, it's, it's actually a bit of an understatement to, to say that Betsy has banking experience. Her very first job out of college was as a, at a, was as a teller at um, First Merchants and National Bank in Virginia. She quickly rose up through the ranks, and in 1978, she was named the chief financial officer of the bank. In 1991, she became chief executive officer of the Bank of Tidewater. She also served in executive capacities with South Trust and later Wachovia, banks that her banks merged with. Betsy has also served as a director of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond and as president of the Virginia Bankers Association. In 2004, Betsy became the first chair, the first woman, woman to chair the uh, American Bankers Association and served in that capacity. Just prior to her nomination at the, Federal, at the Federal Reserve Board in the summer of 2008, Betsy was the senior executive vice president and chief operating officer of the Town Bank of Virginia based community bank. Betsy has also been an active uh, contributor to her communities. She's served on several boards and the, especially those who have been devoted to education and economics. Uh, she has served on the Virginia Legislative Subcommittee to study capital access and business financing. And she also served on the Board of Commissioners of the Norfolk Airport Authority. Betsy earned a bachelor's degree from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Now, I can't help but mention that her major was drama. Now, I think, I think that she's come full circle because now she has, uh, has had no shortage of drama to deal with in the policymaking role that she's experienced during the past uh, year. Betsy received her MBA from Old Dominion University. She's also a graduate of the Stonier Graduate School of Banking and the Virginia Bankers School of Bank Management. 
Uh, today, Betsy is going to speak on the importance of consumer protection and the challenge in balancing regulations with broad access to credit. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Governor Elizabeth Duke. <laughs> 